In this lesson, I'm going to show you about undoing mistakes, as well as a little bit about uh, the paintbrush tool, which is something you'll be using, no doubt. All right, let's grab a picture. Let's go open. And where was that? Let's go to Adobe Bridge, because I just like the format of Bridge. Let's grab. Uh, this sunflower. Now the, the brush is over here in the toolbox and it's the one on top. Pencil and color replacement is below it. So the brush tool, make that, sure that's selected. Now our options for the brush tool are airbrush, soft round, paint brush oval, 45 pixels, transparent red spray paint. I wouldn't worry about that now, just leave it on the default one. Now the brush size, that's what you'll be dealing with a lot. How big do you want it? See, and then you can hover it over here, you see how big that is. It can, I mean, it can get gigantic, see? So let's just pick something fairly small. Hardness, so that'll determine how soft the edges are or how hard they are. Now here, we have sizes as well as uh, shaped brushes. So here we got a, a harder round circle, and here we have more of a soft, sponged, um, like an airbrush circle. Then there's all sorts of different types of brushes that are different shapes. Um, you can paint in leaves, matter of fact. See, look, look at this leaf. So you could just go like that. See, look at that. <laughs> you can do some neat things with the brush. If you had a lawn to, to make, you could go down here and do a bunch of <laughs> bunch of grass, see? I'm not suggesting you do grass, I'm just saying that you can paint grass. Stars, all sorts of neat shapes. So let's pick a 45 degrees softer one, this one. I'm going to make it actually a little bit smaller. Alright, let's go about... Oops, wrong one. That's fine. 30 is fine. And you notice we're given more options here under calligraphic brush brushes, dry media brushes. There's all sorts of different brushes you can use. And then how you want to view your options, large list, small thumbnails, text only, a lot of different options there. All right, so let's keep that. Mode, normal, there's all sorts of different ones you can experiment with in here. Opacity, now you'll see this in layers and, and with many of the tools. Opacity is basically how transparent or how solid you want the color to go on. Or do you want it to be more of a um, an overlay that you can see through, almost a little bit, you want it to be somewhat transparent. So let's pick a low opacity and I'll show you what I mean. And I want to pick a different color, so let's go to this color swatches and we'll pick a yellow to kind of match the flower here. Now you see that opacity is 12, which means as I click, you're barely seeing anything because it's got such a low opacity. It means it's almost transparent, but you go higher and then you click and you notice how now you can see it better. Almost like suns in the sky. And of course you don't have to click, you can paint. And flow is basically just like you would with a paintbrush dipping it in a bunch of paint, it's just going to flow, um, there's going to be a lot of it that's going to come out, in other words, of the the pen, so to speak, even though it's a brush. So if you lowered this, you'd have to paint a lot before any would come out. You see what I mean? Whereas if you have it at 100%, like we had it before, we didn't have to make a lot of strokes to get the color to come out. All right, so there's a quick overview on, uh, on the, uh, the brushes. Now the undo function, just like any other program, you can go up to File and I'm sorry, edit, undo, and the shortcuts, control Z. Oh, I might as well show you this while we're here. Keyboard shortcuts. You know there's a shortcut mo in most programs for everything if you want to learn them. 
And a lot of them are, are triple strokes, and I'm not into using them. But if you want to, just go down to here, Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and you can look at the existing shortcuts. And some are there and some are not. Like File, New, Control N, you know, you can take a look through each of these. You want a new layer, what would that be? Shift, Control N. A lot of them are complex. But what the nice thing is, is you can modify them. So let's say you wanted to change the keystroke for a certain function. You can make your own shortcut. Now these are the application menus we're looking at. Let's minimize that caret. And we can go to the palette menus, modify those. If you remember the palettes over there. Oh, let me make sure you see this whole thing. So anyway, that's where you find all your shortcuts. But I'm going to hit cancel because I don't like using the shortcuts. So anyway, to undo, to get rid of those mistakes, those brush strokes I was just showing you at the end there, go to edit undo. You've seen it before. So a lot of times, though, if you made a lot of individual strokes, man, you'll be undoing forever, right? Or control Z, control Z, control Z, doing a lot of them, right? So the other way around that is to look at the history. Now, I notice we have some shortcut menus here. If you hover over next to the palettes, you have history, actions, tool presets, brushes. Remember, we basically a lot of the same brushes we saw. So these are these are the same things as we saw under brush options. So a lot of times they're just shortcuts here. Um, clone source. We're going to get into some of these tools later. Character. Remember, we were choosing the uh, the type of uh, type we were going to use on the previous lesson. Well, here's a shortcut to some of those options. Paragraph settings for the type, layer comps. Anyway, so I was going to show you history. So you click on history, and you can expand this down. And those are all the brush strokes we made. There was the original flower. So if we want to go back a step, we just simply go back, or choose way up here. Now let's say you made a mistake, though, and you, you went back too far. You're like, oh, I, did, I erased too many dots. Well, what's nice about this history palette is you can just go ahead back to any point, which is kind of nice. You can go back and forth much easier. And to me, this is, a, this is the ideal way of undoing and redoing um, different amendments. So there's that. That's how to undo. And there's a little bit about um, brushes and the different options within that.